Welcome back to Work in the Verse. It's Thor, and I'm excited to share some updates with you today. About a month ago, I gave you my first impressions of the Bobo VR M3 head strap, and now let's dive into how it's been as my daily driver. But before we get to that, let's talk about some cool accessories I got for Christmas. First up, we have the Appazino VR face pad cover, lens protector, and VR shell cover. The silicone face pad cover made the Bobo VR M3 feel snugger than the stock fabric, providing a better fit overall. The lens protector is crucial, especially with sunlight around. It's a good tool to have for preserving your lenses. The VR headset cover, made of silicone, adds a different look. But personally, I found it a bit weighty for extended use, and since I'm not worried about overdoing it, I won't be using it going forwards. I looked at this package originally for the lens protector. I have a couple of spots in my house, and depending on the time of year, can get a healthy dose of sunshine. I don't want to expose the lenses to any length of sunlight, so for me, this is a must-have. I still think the suggestion of using the cardboard cover that came with the Quest 3 headset is doable, but with the new face pad cover, it would catch sometimes, and I'm sure sooner than later it wouldn't hold up. Are there any accessories that are must-haves for you? Any that you would tell others not to bother with? Let us know in the comments. Next, the Lens Pen VR Headset Lens Cleaning Pen. The retractable brush works great, and the cleaning pad works wonders to remove smudges, even on my Reloptix prescription lenses. I don't use it every day, but cleaning lenses sure has gotten easier because of this. Last item in this roundup before I get back to the Bobo VR M3 is the AMVR upgraded controller grip covers. One of the things I miss about the Quest 2 controllers is the heft to them. The Quest 3 controllers are good, but it was surprising how much I missed the weight in my hands. The knuckle straps and silicone add weight back to the controllers and feels quite good. I have a lot more confidence now, and an added bonus with these grips is that they were designed with the Quest 3 in mind, and not simply a rush and get this out because a new headset launched. There are five infrared sensors that are located in the controllers, and with these grips, not one is covered. As you can see here, this is where the sensors are located. I know this because I was able to see them in the Quest 2 headset, which shows you not only these sensors, but even lasers coming from robotic vacuum cleaners and the like. Now, let's talk about my use of the Bobo VR M3 Pro head strap. After a month of use, it's safe to say I prefer it over the Quest 2 version. I'm glad I didn't get the M2 conversion kit, as I have the first version, and Bobo has had several iterations since then. One of the most frequent comments that I saw on YouTube channels was the noisy battery. It seems that this is true for many of the first head straps that came out, including an up to 8000 amperage. It seems that the 10,000 batteries haven't been an issue. For those of you that may be wondering, I've heard the noise, but it's infrequent and hasn't bothered me during gameplay. I have a hunch that the frequency level may be similar to the audio question of 2018. What do you hear, Yanny or Laurel? Do you hear Yanny? Laurel. Laurel. Or Laurel. 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 Do I think the M3 is the end-all be-all in head straps? Well, that's subjective as it depends on personal preference. If you're into more intense gaming, like fitness or fast-paced shooters, it might not be the best fit. Quick adjustments might be a bit tricky too. I've got my eyes on a few other options based on your comments and reviews I've seen. The Binbok T3, the Kiwi Design Comfort Head Strap, and the Bobo VR M3 Mini. The design looks smart, and it sits above your ears, and it could be a win. They don't have a battery option yet for this, but as Jay Blatt shows on his channel, you can take another Bobo VR and move the battery holder over with little effort. Let me know in the comments which head strap you use and why you love it. Now, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell to stay updated on our latest content. Until next time, keep working the verse.